So it's Twitter that we are going to analyze using Orange today. So let's start from very beginning and see what uh, what I'm going to do and how we can get something useful out of it. So let's go to Twitter.com and let's see what are the trending topics for today. So here there are some things which are trending and uh, okay so let's go to trending ah, okay so the one is hash save environment for future so what i'm going to do i'm going to do is to see what what, what people are tweeting about this topic and in each tweet as you can see here are some mentions of the other authors for example Gurumit Ram Rahim is mentioned here and here Gurumit Ram Rahim and Dera Sacha Soda is mentioned and see looks like Gurumit Ram Rahim is mentioned here in this lot so let's see uh, in recent tweets how many times he, he is mentioned and who are the others that are mentioned and let's see in each tweet if there are two uh, handles that are mentioned then and then they are mentioned in some other so is there any connection in those tweets for example here you can clearly see a connection between Gurmit Ram Rahim and Dera Satcha Soda let's try to see if there are some other apart from this uh, which are mentioned and try to find a graph or some sort of connection uh, between or amongst them now the issue is that if we keep scrolling and analyzing it will take a lot of time for us to do that so let's use a tool called uh, uh, orange to analyze this. I'll just show you how we do that. I'll go in detail maybe sometimes later but for now let's see what we can achieve uh, from there and then we can uh, we can see uh, what are the details around that. So first thing to do that I'll open uh, uh, a terminal window. So usually I go to orange using uh, anaconda so I'll just uh, show you how to do that so first I'll open anaconda prompt so, so this is my way of opening anaconda you can have your own uh, there are a lot of details I know but uh, my objective is not to show each and everything is in detail uh, I'm, I'm just going to show if everything is ready with you how you can achieve and then probably we'll go in detail on each steps sometime later so our anaconda prompt is open let's so launch orange from here and then we'll see what we can do using orange and uh, for the analysis of this twitter feed okay so what we have to by the time orange is opening let's go and take the twitter handle from here so the topic that we are trying to analyze is save environment for future let's copy this and uh, go to orange here and let's open a new window for our analysis so here for this analysis i'm going to need some widgets from orange and first widget that i'm going to use is this text mining widget called twitter it's here so let's have one twitter widget it will prompt you for the password um, okay <coughs> so once you open this twitter widget it will ask you for OPI, api if you are uh, opening it for first time but if you are opening it uh, subsequently like uh, i'm doing it now uh, you'll be just prompted for your computed password so, and here you have an option to search for the list uh, so option to um, use uh, for which you want to search so we are going to search uh, for this specific topic called save environment for future we want to search for content and we want to let's say let's analyze for 200 tweets 
that's also allowed you to see who are the people that are liking and what is the relation between them so out of reception content we are going to get everything for now we will not collect retweets otherwise it will append to any existing ones if there are any so we don't want to collect so okay now let's uh, search for this Uh, okay, so now what we have done is collected 200 tweets. Uh, in order to see them, you need to first pre-process text and uh, pass it to pre-process text. In pre-processing, okay. For this topic, I want to get all the authors. So I have given this particular regular expression, which extracts authors from all the those um, uh, those uh, tweets. Now let's see. Let's go to uh, okay, let's pass it to Corpus Viewer. So in Corpus Viewer, we can see what we see is we have collected these many tweets. There are a lot of free tweets, and then there are some. Anyways, let's analyze all of them. How they are behaving, and uh, after that, we need to pass it to Corpus to Network. So once you pass it to Corpus to Network, it will create. Uh, so so this okay. I'll go in detail of this uh, Corpus to Network uh, visit. Uh, later but let's first see the output and then try to relate that output with this uh, uh, with this particular widget and after corpus to network we are going to add another widget which is called uh, network explorer let's uh, pass the output of corpus to network to network explorer okay now let's see what we find here out of all these tweets, so yeah, so yeah, steps here are very simple. We got Twitter feeds, pre-processed uh, tweets. The region we pre-processed, we, we have to do some chunking and uh, some analysis, uh, and then finally we pass to Corpus Viewer just to see what is it. Okay, let's do one thing instead of passing net Corpus to network content of Corpus Viewer, we simply pass the content of process text Corpus Viewer so that it is separate. Okay, now let's see what our network explorer shows. Ah, you see, so here you see that there is something or some person who is in center of this. And let's see who that person is. Okay, I think I need to do one more thing before you can actually see the label. Let's go here, corpus to network. Network, we also need something called node data. So once we pass, so we are basically for now you can understand that we are just passing two inputs from here. And uh, okay, now if you see, you see the one in middle is having uh, is a big uh, circle, so that means its frequency is quite high. Uh, so currently the color shows frequency. So anything which is of this color, uh, that label is with higher frequency, and uh, this is decreasing order of frequency. And uh, let's label them. So let's uh, label node with let's say motion. I see. So this data such as all as we have seen is something with which uh, from which all of them are, uh, are connected. So let's uh, see mark nodes with many connections, and most of them are Gurmeet Ram Rahim. And then there is something called live lesson by MSC. So looks like this whole topic is. Uh, promoted by this group uh, where Ram Rahim, Dera Satcha Hoda and all those people are are mostly active. Let's also get some more detail. So you see if you see something else uh, which is uh, mark nodes with few connections. So that means we are now marking the labeling all of them which are having less connections. Then uh, this is what we see. So you see other Twitters, they are all mostly individual Twitters, or all the mentions are of it, except for uh, this one. Here, also, you see Gudnir Ram Rahim, then we saw Tinda, Dera Sacha Hoda. So, this is one type of analysis, uh, this is one type of connection that is uh, getting formed. Another that is the big one is here, but uh, you see most of them you can 
you can also figure out some people who are uh, associated with the uh, with uh, with the central node whatever it is uh, for example msc key john and then uh, so yeah so using this you, if because the, if you think that this network is getting too congested over here you can uh, just explore it uh, so yeah so there are different uh, other techniques using which you can um, see what is hap how a particular topic is related with the with, it, with its uh, authors uh, and uh, so that's all for now uh, and you can see how quick and easy it is there are definitely some details and if i get some feedback on what are those details that are missing i'll probably uh, explore and show them in, uh, in, in the more uh, that's it for now Thanks.